Today I wanted to film a video about my piercings so I currently have uh, my double lobes so that's like just basic but then I also have my conch, rook and my helix piercing and when I was getting them I personally like watched a lot of videos about their piercing experience because I was kind of scared it isn't the typical piercing it's more exotic so I did look into a lot of YouTube videos and I got my piercings like the three piercings in one day like I don't know what was into me but I wanted to just get it over with in one day so it heals all at the same time so I wanted to make a video on um, the getting the piercing, the healing process, and like what jewelry I would recommend. Like I'm not a professional in any means like, but it's just like from my own personal experience how my piercing experience went. I hope this is helpful for anyone that's interested in getting any of these piercings and I hope you guys enjoy. So first thing is getting the piercing. So. When I went to go get my piercing, um, I was very nervous. Like, like the car ride there, I was very nervous. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go through with this. And when I went there though, when I sat down and when I was talking to the piercer um, about all of it, she said like, yeah, three in one day isn't too bad. And I know I don't have the highest pain tolerance, so I was expecting it to hurt. And I decided to get my rook pierced first because to me, it was like a thicker um, like bone area, so I thought it would hurt the most. So I wanted to get it over with. So I went in the order of Rook, Conch, and then the Helix piercing. Starting off with the Rook, when she pierced it, this piercing I had to lay down for. So uh, I laid down for she marked it with a marker on like where she would put the needle through. And um, I'll insert the video right here to show you how it went. But you can't really see it clearly because she was kind of in the way of the camera but you could kind of see like her piercing it through so like there was like a little tube and then the needle and then she pierced it through and honestly getting my rook pierced did not hurt at all like getting it pierced didn't hurt i didn't even realize it went in i was like is it in i actually said is it in there like i didn't not think the needle went through yet so it didn't hurt at all for me but the thing that hurt was when she was twisting on the earring uh, that's when it hurt because it's like such a small area there like small space so, like when she was twisting it on like it kind of moved around the bar moved around in my uh hole a bit so it hurt but other than that um it was definitely not painful it was the least painful one out of uh all the ones i got that day uh i would rate the pain a one out of five like it only hurt when she was twisting on the earring so it was getting it pierced what did not hurt at all and then after um, I got the conch piercing so usually everyone says when you get two piercings the second one's gonna hurt the most because your adrenaline is already rushing there's blood flowing to your ear already so it should hurt the most and it did hurt the most and I got my conch I was about to cry it hurt so much it was so hard holding in my t holding back my tears I was Literally, you can see in the video, I was literally covering my mouth, trying to hold in my, like, um, pain. Because it hurt so bad. I was very surprised by how much it hurt. So when she pierced it, it also, it got kind of stuck at first. It didn't go through easily as the rook did. So, um, she kind of had to force it in there. Once it was pierced, like, while the needle was still in there, before she put the earring on, it hurt so much that I was honestly questioning if I should even get the helix piercing at that point because it hurts so bad but um, after she put the uh, earring on and she wiped the blood off it was starting to like calm down a little bit but it was the most painful piercing I've ever got so that I would rate it a 5 out of 5 like pain wise it hurt so bad I really thought I was gonna cry I had to hold back my tears so badly and it was just not a, not a good time. It was not a good time. And then the last one was my helix piercing. And my helix, I did not expect it to hurt because usually like 
I feel like cartilage piercings are like a common piercing, so I didn't expect it to hurt. That's why I saved it for last. So even after two, it wouldn't be that bad. But I think my ear was already in a lot of pain from the first two. So it was already angry at me. So the cartilage did hurt more than it should have. So I would rate my cartilage a three out of five. So now the healing process. So I'm going to say for the healing process, all of it wasn't that bad. And I would say out of all three, the cartilage, cartilage was the biggest problem. Like it took the longest to heal. It would often get infected or like irritated because it is like the cartilage is in like in the outer area so it is in contact with my hair a lot like my hair would get stuck in the earring or in the shower and stuff like that so like it did take the longest to like heal like of course all my piercings are still healing because uh with these piercings it takes about like a year or even more to heal completely but it's like pretty well healed right now because it's been let's see i got it in may so may june july august october so it's like it's been about five months so they're like at a decent state um i don't really get irritations anymore the second one that was the most struggle is the conch because conch even though it's inside um it's still like in the back of my ear it was still coming the like ball will still come in contact with my hair from time to time and it would tuck on it so it would bleed sometimes so yeah um after i changed my conch to a hoop though it didn't have that much problems like it barely gets caught in things it's when i had a bar the end of the back of the bar uh bar would always get tangled and it was just it would just not be a good time rook was the least uh painful now about the jewelry so what type of jewelry you should choose or lean towards when you're getting these exotic piercings so I definitely recommend a longer bar, a 10 millimeter or up when you're getting it pierced because it will swell up. It will have bumps. Bumps are normal. I had a few bumps here and then. It wasn't as bad, but uh, you will get piercing bumps. And so the longer bar prevents it from like those bumps and swelling to like swallow up the earring. Like if it's too short, like when my friend who started sunking in, they start sinking into her uh, piercing so like i definitely do recommend a longer bar and don't worry too much about if your earring is pretty because honestly i would rather wait until my ear is in a healed better state to put in a nice earring because when it's still in a lot of pain or irritated and you put in a nice earring it's not really gonna look pretty anyways because of the swelling and the bumps so i would honestly recommend a simple hypoallergenic earring that you're not gonna have any allergic reactions to in there until it heals so this is a before and after picture of um when i first got my piercing so the day that i got my pier uh, three piercings and then this is like a more recent picture of it after I switched a few earrings out and it's at a better healed state. So I would say if you want to get any of these piercings, go for it. I didn't think it was that bad of an experience. I personally love my piercings. I think they look so cute. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful, especially if you're thinking about getting these piercings. And I'll see you guys in my next video.